What is up, everybody? We are back. It is Friday, the 22nd of October, and we are going into week four, post ulnar nerve transposition surgery, submuscular. You can see that the scar is completely closed. The stary strips are gone. And I also had the release of the Guyon's canal in my wrist. That's pretty much completely closed. It is closed. It's just got some scab on the palm there still, which I'm leaving on there because it's an area that you knock a lot, you hit a lot. So I'm just going to kind of let it do its thing. Not really try to get that scab off too much. Um, it's been going really good. I still have some stiffness in the elbow towards the end of the day. It'll, it'll get kind of sore. Um, but I use a heating pad that helps a lot. I've been doing my own occupational therapy twice a day with a routine that they created for me consists of all different types of things, main, mainly bending the elbow and stretching out the wrist. And I go and I see the therapist once a week, but the stuff we're doing right now while we wait for that flexor tendon to heal is so minimal that I, I don't want to be spending my time or money going up there to do stuff that I could do at home. But once a week I go there and he started to do some like ultrasound on the scar here. We are, um, we're mainly focusing on that scar because he wants to break up the scar tissue so it doesn't end up pinching in my, in my uh, hand and kind of being annoying. So working on that, it's, um, it's been one of those processes up and down. Some days are really good. Other days, depending on what I did the day before, it's it's kind of sore. I'm not wearing the sling anymore. Um, they did recommend that I wear it when I'm out of the house just so that other people know that something happened. But it makes me uncomfortable the way that it kind of like shifts my shoulder up. It just bothers me. So I'm just being super careful and I'm kind of talking to it to people as I see people that I don't see all the time. That way they're aware of it. What else kind of going on? It's It's been a decent recovery. It's kind of what I expected. I think if I had just done one or the other, it would have been a lot easier. But with both of them being done, this arm is kind of, you know, useless right now. However, like I'd said in the videos before, it does feel better already than it did before surgery. But the hard part is not using it because they don't want me to lift anything over three pounds right now. Um, I feel like I can, but they say not to, so I'm not going to do that right now. And that's really been the difficult part because working as a handyman, everything we do is with our hands. Um, I'm blessed enough to have an employee, but this whole week, today's Friday, he's been on vacation. So production has really stopped. And if you've watched this channel before, you know that I deal with OCD and anxiety and that has been difficult. With no production going on outside of one subcontracting job and me going out talking with clients about future projects, it's been very difficult. I'm kind of going stir crazy and I get into cycles of worrying. So I'm, I'm worried about, you know, is my employee going to come back and want to continue working? Are we going to be able to get this stuff done in a timely fashion? Am I going to be able to help in a productive manner? Um, but all those things are just worries in my head. They're not things out here that, that there's anything to worry about. It's just how I'm kind of internalizing the whole event. So I'm really working on kind of just having a lot more peace and having more faith about the whole thing. But I'm really glad about having the surgery. Um, I was worried right after surgery if I had made the right decision because I felt so weak. But my strength has, has come back pretty quickly, but I'm not really able to use it yet. But the way that I can tell is my grip strength. I can make a nice tight fist, not a complete fist yet, but a, a really decent tight one to the point where I could hold a hammer or a screwdriver or, or something tightly um, to use it at work if I needed to. So that gives me a lot of, um, that, that makes me feel really good about the whole situation. Um, I'll talk about the BPC 157. I used that for the first 10 days and I injected it, you know, about three to five inches away from the, uh, the incision in, in all different points of the elbow. I didn't use it, um, too close to the wrist. I came up the forearm a little bit to try to get it into both, but 
Um, I, I didn't really like the idea of trying to like inject it into the fat of my hand or anything like that because it was really tender. But I've stopped using the BPC-157 and my reasoning for that was I want my body to do what it's designed to do, to do what, you know, God intended it to do. And if I'm always helping my body heal with with the BPC-157, in my, the way that I'm um, thinking about it is like, if you're always helping something to do something, it's going to stop working so hard. So if I'm always aiding my body in recovery using BPC-157, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, my body will realize that I'm always helping it and it'll stop doing it as much on its own. So I didn't want to really abuse it. I wanted to use it, what it's intended to use to kind of jumpstart that healing process and then let my body do what it's designed to do. So that's what I've been doing. I feel really good. The most difficult part of this whole thing is not being able to work, not being able to do anything like that, making making my mind go crazy. So I'm really working on that, but I just wanted to jump on here because we're going into week four and they've got me going on week six to begin um, real physical therapy where we'll start using some weights and things like that. So I'll definitely make a video week six, letting you know how that stuff's going. Um, maybe we'll jump into a different topic next week, but like always, like this video so other people can find it. Leave me a comment of some ways that you dealt with the mental angst and anxiety when maybe you had to sit on the sidelines a little bit um, with your business and things like that. Or maybe after an injury, not able to work out or do sports. How did you deal with that? And like always, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We are almost to 300 subscribers. And I was like, man, sometimes I don't have a lot to say. I don't have a topic set up, but I like to be consistent with these videos. So I, before I did this video, I thought, let me see if I have over 20 views on the video from last week, I'll do another video. And I had like 32. So I'm super grateful for that. Um, I'm excited to see this channel grow. Let me know what you guys want to hear, because sometimes I just want to get on here and kind of talk some junk, talk, talk MMA, talk stuff going on in my life, not with a, with a specific topic. So let me know if that's something you guys would like to hear. And like always, bomb, 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 subscribe.